All right, welcome back, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Today, we are looking at texts with threatening auras. These are text messages that may intimidate you, that may just weird you out, and they've got these auras that make you go, I'm just gonna stay away from this guy. If you do happen to enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And yeah, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so here's our first post from a guy named I Eat Short People DMing you, asking you, how tall are you? So you might be wondering, at what threshold does he eat short people? people do you have to be six foot well you accept a request you reply five foot nine and you respond see you soon i didn't know five foot nine was short but good to know our second post is from the microsoft store which says uwu -oo. i would definitely not respond to this dm ikea usa dms you saying meatball here we have a bunch of uh caveman spongebob images to which the girl responds i'm breaking up with you and then he changes it to a Spongebob crying image. This is so sad. Can we get an F in the chat for Spongebob? Here we have a text conversation between a boyfriend and a girlfriend. We've got a party emoji and then A, just finished eating, babe. What's up, Mimi? And then we've got like a Google Maps picture and then why the frick are you staring at that B for? Hello, are you the chosen one? The consumer? Now I would scroll down and show you this image except it is extremely disturbing. It is a hot dog eating a hot dog. I know that doesn't sound that intimidating, but trust me, just look at the eyeballs and you should you should realize. My mom just died. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm here if you need anything. I have a boyfriend and I have a mom. Okay, so there's a couple of problems here. So uh, the, the girl's mom dies and uh, some someone is just comforting her, her, you know, I'm sorry to hear that I'm here if you need anything. And she seems that you want to frick her. Okay, I guess that's reasonable. Never comfort someone, ever. This man had a solid comeback, but I wouldn't post that. Actually, maybe I would. She clearly doesn't deserve any sympathy at all. We've got an airdrop message. Bridgewater Earth's iPhone would like to share a photo. And we've got a cursed creepy Furby. Here we have a man named Pottery Fricker. Is this still available? I would advise against selling pottery to this man. You can actually hear her crying out in pain. And someone sends an image of uh, a vigorous Beyblade spinning at you full force. Consider this as a freaking warning. Sorry, wrong person. So the other person is just kind of baffled. Who's the right person? Who the hell is the right person? Clearly you don't understand a, a Beyblade battle between two gentlemen. This man is hunting for hot moms. And honestly, it's kind of disturbing that several people are typing. Y you all think your mom's are really hot. Kind of weird, champ, if you ask me. Here we have a message from the FBI saying your Twitter account sucks. I don't know what they were expecting to find, but now the FBI is kind of sus. Here we have a delightful conversation. I miss your pussy. It's 9.28 a.m. Well... What time does your pussy open? Just a fantastic morning, isn't it? So here we have a girl who wants to comfort her boyfriend. Um, he was having a bad day, so she sends a picture of her butt and says, I know you're having a bad day, so kisses. And he responds with, what is that? Now, upon examining the image, uh, it could kind of be mistaken for a pillow or, you know, uh, no, no offense. Is what it is, though, rest assured, she spent the entire day crying. Here's another casual text conversation. Dave just freaking died. The guy we had in our basement. Okay, cheese cake. Cheese cake. Ha ha. I, I, I don't know what's happening here. Is this some sort of cult of cheesecake? Why do they have a guy in their basement? I have so many questions. Here we have just the most bold man on planet Earth. So a guy messages what he thinks is a girl saying, damn, nice tits. And then uh, the, the girl's boyfriend responds saying, this is her man's. Tell her I said nice tits. Where the frick do you want to be buried? Implying that he's going to kill him. In them titties, Lamau. I mean, Savage 100, dude. I would, I would just forfeit my girlfriend at this point. Here we have a message from Ryan's Toy Review from Ryan's World saying, I'm craving titties. I'm really hoping this is a fake tweet, but if not, R Ryan, I think y you need to wait a couple years. Now we move on to a Discord conversation between a guy named Rat Fricker and some random guy. This is the very beginning of your legendary conversation with uh, Rat Fricker asking you, are you a rat? Here's an accurate image image of what happens if you say yes. Let's go, it's me da baby. I'm on my secret account and I want your social security number, huh? Here's proof, yeah, yeah. If you accept this, you're just missing several brain cells. A man named Chris says, you freaky. And you respond with a Ben Shapiro in a furry costume. Does this answer your question? Yes, yes it does. Here's a message from mom. Come poop downstairs, cause I'm getting it. I spent about three minutes trying to understand this, but I, I still have not come to any conclusion. I'm thinking something along the lines of incest maybe, but even that doesn't really fit. If someone can think up a scenario or explain this, let me know. For some reason, WikiHow tells you how to have 
have wet dreams of nailing a dolphin? I know the site has answers to every single question, but goddamn. Disney vacation is what- is that your vacation? ka, -ka chow I yell as I, uh, release into your sweet, tight gas pipe. They respond saying, what the frick? Who is this? Sorry, wrong number. Oh, you know, don't worry, I was just doing my car role play with my romantic partner. We just dress up as cars and frick each other. This one doesn't even have any text to assist up. <sighs> Just, just a very disturbing image. You're definitely gonna have nightmares tonight. Here we have a completely random message saying, get your freaking poop together and act like an adult. Think you have the wrong number, but you're right. Honestly, if someone sent me this, I would respond the same way. Think it applies to most people. Hello, my dearest. I miss you and I love you. We've got a freshly opened pack of ramen noodle soup and uh, Ah, uh, yeah, mm. A bath in ramen noodle soup. I wonder how that will feel like. I imagine it'll be a bit icky. I feel like it's portrayed much nicer in like shows and stuff. I don't know which show portrays bathing in ramen noodle soup, but I'm pretty sure it's out there. Wii U fax DMs you saying you will not survive. Depends if you're going up against Matt. Do the Mario challenge die. We've got a Dragon Ball image with some drip and uh, a, a man is very surprised. This is probably the most nice guy, nice guy image you've ever seen. Hi, a few things things to start off with, um, smiley face. Yeah, I added you because you're a female gamer. Tis an awesome thing to see. Thank you, knight. Number two, I'm Brian. I didn't ask for your name, Brian. Number three, don't be intimidated, but I'm not a stereotypical guy. If anything, I'll be the one in the kitchen. Smiley face. Brian, the type of guy to stalk you for seven weeks and then quiver in your face. Mickey Mouse DMs you saying, chicken nugget. Thanks, Mickey Mouse. Mom messages you saying, my farts are tremendous. I already knew that, mom. Here we have just a heartbreaking message. Hi, are you still selling that truck? Yep. Can you send a picture? He sends a picture of his face of the truck, dumbass. And the poor guy responds with sorry. This one kind of breaks my heart, you know? I mean, I don't know if he was trolling, but I don't think he really meant any harm. He just, just kind of misinterpreted what he said. Don't need to be so mean. Fellas, Riley would like to share a photo. This is probably the most threatening aura I've seen. Hi, hello, how are you? Are you male or female? No, I'm Gmail. You mean gay? Aww. You can't reply to this conversation. Blocked after Gmail. Grandpa says coward and then calls you. Mom says, I saw your father kiss your cheek this morning and I couldn't help but think about how he did things uh, last night. Ass face. This mom is out of control, bro. She needs to be stopped. Mom says, cheeseburger in the mailbox, bitch. Hey, can I see your puss in boots? Please, I did a flip for you, and, and then they flip the, the smiley face, ha, huh? flip. My guy, I don't think you're seeing any puss in boots today. Mom, what happened to the internet? Why did it stop? I'm going to lock you in your room and set it on fire. FYI, there's like no context to these images at all. Mom says, where are you? You reply saying, I'm coming ho, home, 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 not delivered three times, freaking piece of poop. So mom just gets the message, I'm coming ho, you freaking piece of poop. I just lost my job and I have no home, I'm on the streets. And then they respond with the furry saying, oh no, and then just below that, I can't really show you this, but there's a furry kissing. Well, that was an interesting episode of Twitter gimmick accounts, I'm kinda just confused. But hey, if you made it to the end, chances are you enjoyed, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Like the video really helps me out, comment below for the algorithm. Um, Thank you for watching, thank you for making it the end and yeah see you guys next time bye bye